So once your organization set up Multifactor um, to configure your account for it, you would just go to uh, Microsoft Online and log in. So this particular customer, this particular user, now has Multifactor set up. So after they've put in their password, um, they'll get this message up saying more information is required. And now it's going to ask you, um, how do you want to authenticate? Um, we're going to do it. This particular video is about how to use it, your mobile phone. So let's select the right country, it's UK. And I'm just going to put mobile phone in. And then within a couple of seconds, you should receive a text. have so let's put the code in that's verified the number um, it creates you a, an app password for um, Outlook or Apple Mail or Office um, so you should make a note of that if you if you need to use that not I don't need to use it for the moment you can always create more app passwords later and um, we are now in. So that now means that I'm just gonna sign out. Each time we now log in online, it's now gonna challenge us, send a message to your mobile phone. So let me sign back in. And it looks like that. And within a couple of seconds, you should have another text, which I do. And, it's <clears throat> and you saw the message where it said, don't ask for 14 days. If I tick that, it wouldn't keep asking me. Um, and you can also say reduce the number of times. Yes or no. I'm going to say no for now. And you're in. So that also means that um, all of your other apps like Outlook and Teams and any other devices you're using will need to um, to authenticate. Now, older versions of Office, you can use an app password. Um, newer versions, you can just uh, authenticate and um, get the system to trust the device for those number of days. So essentially that's multi-factor authentication. That's now secured my Office account so that anyone tries to log in online from anywhere, it will send me a text. They obviously need my password as well, but sometimes passwords are easy to get hold of.